Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Daily message in here for October 26. As you always know, the daily messages might be your message, might be a tiny bit of energy that you indeed might enjoy at this time. Let's see, loves, how the days go by. And as well, you know that the dailies are way bigger than just one day. And of course, if you come in here by the title or you are just trying to go through certain things and probably need motivation, probably need an answer, probably looking for insights, this is the place to come. Let's see, loves. I choose today the Daily Guidance Angels for messages from the oracles. I feel quite drawn by these cards. And of course, the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Let's see what we have here for this day and how the energies are flowing. All right. Reward yourself, steady progress, and have confidence. And on the top we have child energy. The next card we have listen. You know, loves, I always speak about the inner child work. And many of you might do that work. Listen to your inner voice. Because for some of you, even we are, might be all adults here. Because the channel we have here, the tribe we are here, it's 18 plus. And for some of you, the child energy speaks about new beginnings. For others, you care deeply about children. And they are readily respond to your love all children including your own inner child require love affection and intention we can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you so take care of your little one inside you because we could be adults but some of us don't need to forget that little tiny part inside. As I will call it, as fragile as stronger is. Have confidence. Reward yourself. Steady progress. Whatever you do, it's one step further. Moving forward, yes. Slow and steady, absolutely. But yes, many, many of you, you've made tremendous move. Tremendous grow. So never ever feel that, well, I feel here that I do something, but I don't see results tiny bits one at a time you can see it and I'm not saying that look back you but I will say how you've been one year ago or even a month ago or even six months ago or five years or ten years back you change a lot and yes the progress is in the move. Even we feel many times that while well, nothing is changing, everything is stuck, it is not. We're still moving. Let's see loves, what this is about because I do see a lot of move and a lot of progress. And even we are 
moved into the Scorpio season. Happy birthday, Scorpios. There's a lot of changes as the Scorpio season is all about changes. For some of you, might be sudden changes. For some of you, might get some tower moments. And especially the tower moments, you know that they are coming when we are holding back too much or there's a situation we long ago needed to let it go and we're still holding in and that's kind of a thing many times when we have this because a tower change will not come to whomever i'm speaking and you are just let it go you are just confined your energy to the universe and move forward and honestly to all of you loves i've been this morning in a quick ride and for those of you who are in us you know what's all mart it's it's a big store and i was running in and just got my stuff what i needed and in and out and i stumble on a shelf with some clothes and that was a t-shirt and on the t-shirt was writing trust in the universe and even i am on this journey for so long sometimes when i stop and look at it it's kind of stop and stare for some of you you know backstreet boys the the band was singing i believe was back backstreet boys it's a very old band but just stop in the moment and look at that t-shirt i was like goodness that's monday morning and that's the week starts and for some of you that's how it is trust in the universe trust in the divine guidance and in the moment and as well, trust that the changes which are coming in are meant for you and they are meant to move you from a place where you probably might not be comfortable or you probably might not be welcome. And the universe always moves you in that place where you need most to go. Let's see loves how this energies are moving. Five of pentacles underneath and the nine of wands. For some of you, you need to let go something and not resist. And for some of you is a, a feeling. You gotta leave behind a feeling you might not need to leave behind the situation as much as a feeling that is deep inside you. And that could be um, a situation that I was left out in the cold. I didn't get enough answers or I didn't have no answers. As you let it go, the answers will come one after another. And just resisting, maybe you will get what you need might be harder for those answers to come. Because there is a new opportunity out there that lies in front of you. So if you need to leave something, be grateful for the journey. Learn the lesson and let it go. As much as hard may be or as much as hard could be on you. Because there's something new out there. Bigger, stronger, baser. Queen of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Fool. I love the Fool right here and the Chariot. 
the fool is the middle card which influence all the cards around and the fool very much speaks that whatever it is take the chance you don't need to be an expert or you don't need to have all the answers you don't need to have everything in order all what you need to is to take the chance as a fool the fool is the first card in the tarot deck and the fool Yes, may speak a younger energy, younger person, younger soul, or somebody who is young soul. Taking your chance will bring you a lot of light. And that light will shine quite brightly. Ace of Swords, Temperance, and Eight of Pentacles. It's kind of like stop waiting. You know. You know clearly. There is time. And as well. The healing it's over. Or for some of you, it's kind of when you feel a little overwhelmed of whatever it's happening out there. Take a break. Don't wait anymore. It's kind of success is on the move, is not on the wait. Success is in the work. And be in alignment because the Archangel Michael, the Temperance, as above as below, and very much speaks about the yin and yang energy, balance. As you take this chance, the balance starts to come into your life. Be confident. As you see here, we have 7, 8, 10. The 9 of Pentacles is missing confidence. Be sure of yourself and go forward. Have confidence. It's okay to leave certain things here which didn't work. That's it, loves. An Ace of Pentacles here. Some clarifications here for the Seven of Pentacles first thing first. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, it's similar with Ace of Pentacles. There's a tangible offer on the table. And for some of you, my feel is too small than what you want. But I feel here, whatever it is, if you are apply for a job, and yes, in the beginning might not be a good pay because you probably want more. The fool is kind of don't have expectations in others. The expectations are in you and your work, your effort. Because that it is here. Ten of Swords. Knight of Wands. And Five of Wands. Because indeed here, whoever I'm speaking, you might tell yourself that I did expect this to come to me quicker, faster. And then you realize that I gotta step every, I gotta take every step, one step at a time. and balance myself. This is what you can handle. This is what you can balance. You might not balance the whatever people speak, whatever people say, but you can balance you. Four of Swords, 
King of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Moon, and Strength. You can do anything and everything, but for some of you, you know your worth, you know your price. For some reason, I feel here I'm speaking with somebody who does know who they are, but many times they have that self-doubt, that fear that I'm not good enough, that fear that I can't make it, that fear like what others will say, whatever is there. The fool very much speaks that who cares? It's you. It's your life. It's your journey. You are in your own shoes. Nobody else. And you are not going in somebody else's shoes on this journey, but in your own. Honor that. Your shoes might not be looking great or they might not be sparkly but are your own shoes you own that you gotta be proud of that that's why i always say whomever i meet look look at you first because that is very much you. Many people in this earthly life get through certain things which are very hard to go through. Just because looking at the other side, other people, oh, look at them, oh, look at that person, oh, that person done this, that person, and I can do this, or I can do better, or things like that. Do you. Because you have your own gifts to be shared, to be expanded. You absolutely don't need to copy anybody. You will never be exactly like them. You can be better, yes, but know that you have your own gifts. And what I'm seeing here for some of you don't wait for certain things to come. Go after them. Don't expect anything from it. And as a child here, as they go by, they don't really know if they will get the things or they will not they just go and as the fool but no you will need patience and the effort and most important have courage and confidence Let's see here, the full energy, what speaks to you here? This could be as well, for some of you, a family matter. And you, you feel like this will never gonna end, this will never will improve and things like that. But I feel here, if you do improve, the things will improve. Because whoever said, said it right. If you want to change the world, start with you. That's very, very important. Ooh. 
Ace of Wands, another Ace, Magician. This is coming quite quick. And it's been manifested for some of you for quite a while. Whatever the thing is, it's coming, loves. And it seems to me quite abundant. For example, underneath we have the Knight of Cups. For example, loves, if you want a job, you know clearly who you are, where you're going, and what you want. Be confident. And never ever feel that if I'm going to apply for a job or to go forward with some certain things, they will never get because there's competition, there are people out there and there's too much in here and then you get discouraged every single time when you do that I guarantee you will never work every time you go and apply for a job and you are like this magician and feel this way and the fool and the empress Everything comes to me easy. That's a very good affirmation. I do things effortlessly. Everything is there for me and handled to me in the divine timing. And the divine time is now. That's very important. Because if you go and feel like, well, I gotta wait, you don't need to. Because you know who you are. Take it easy and feel the energy. And this is my story years back. I finished college of oriental medicine here in Chicago and I applied for jobs and I applied to three centers of chiropractor for whatever reason I was like I'll just apply for three jobs which one will take me great but I will apply to three And we'll see if will be. And I still have finished the school, but as well, I still had another job, which I was about to to go away from it. And two of those applications been approved. But one asked me to come the same day. I applied in the morning and afternoon I was working. And I didn't have no expectation for any of it. And surprisingly, where I've been taken was two miles away from my house, which was not even a 10 minutes drive. And that was one example. Other was when I rent my apartment. I apply for a few. And I remember one was keeping me in a waiting. Well, we'll tell you then in the following week. Well, we'll tell you. And I was like back and forth, back and forth. And I was like, well, I don't feel this is mine. I gotta choose something else. And the apartment I've been chosen approved my, me probably not even two days. And that's how I start feeling. 
if it's yours, will come. But you gotta have no expectations. You gotta just go. And the most important thing is have no expectation in the beginning. The next is see yourself there. Even you work somewhere where you want to work, either you are renting something, either you're buying something, see yourself, you're buying something, feel that thing, feel that object in your hands, how you feel about it. You feel gratitude, you feel happy, you feel content. So that's what I'm feeling here for some of you. You clearly know with that Queen of Swords, where you're going, and you clearly know that there is abundance. You clearly know that you made effort. But for some reason, with this Seven of Pentacles and this Four of Swords, you feel like, well, I will go through, I don't know how, but it's so hard and I have so many doubts inside and there are so many people. Don't worry too much because sometimes, indeed, here we are in the monkey mind energy. We are overthinking things, which it's kind of like how my grandma says, don't make yourself problems if they are not. But feel that you are there, you are abundant, that things come easily, that things come flourishing towards you. The movement forward is because whoever I'm speaking, you get certain things here. Probably the best job ever you ever had or whatever thing, the best partner. What you need to worry is to be honest with yourself and the other part. Be patient in the journey and as well how much effort you're going to put out there. How consistent you can be. That's the part you gotta be much more focused. Because one thing is to get it up front. The harder thing is how you can be there, present. Okay? I will look really quick where is the Nine of Pentacles in the deck. Because you know me, I will look the things around-ish. So, the Nine of Pentacles is right here. And Knight of Swords. Six of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and Knight of Swords. You might feel here, I will never do the things as I used to. Six of Cups, the, the past. No, you are not. If you are putting that target inside you, you will not repeat it. You can learn from it. You might not repeat it. And the Knight of Swords, I feel here for many, many of you, you might get a lot of patience for your journey because even you feel that you got the things together even you feel that you can do more you might be a little impatient for certain things for example if you get a job you want to race quick or you want to go to a different grade, you are settled out there. Or you want to go to something different quicker. But I feel here, this is the part you mostly need to be aware. And I will give a, a clarify as well for this Five of Pentacles. Why you feel this way at this time? Four of 
four of cups hangman and the nine of wands wheel of fortune six of cups and eight of cups there's something here which very much probably not to your liking it because five of pentacles being clarified by four of cups and the hangman whatever here is given to you you might feel no 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 i don't like it i don't want it it's similar what i had so i rather keep waiting i rather keep be here in this limbo for a little longer whatsoever i feel here for some of you you gotta see this opportunity not as a failure but like an enlightenment see the things from a different nature because probably in the beginning you you have no idea what you're gonna be next and where this journey is leading you because I feel here the universe works beautifully and indeed here is moving you from this past energy but you might feel quite the contrary as well look at here we have four of cups and a six of cups ten of cups it's quite obvious only it's separable as well we have the hangman which is a very stationary card and the wheel of fortune which very much speaks movement stay or move stay or move And this is quite obvious, the message. Because many, many of you, you might feel like, well, that was a great thing or something that could be great. Let it go. Sometimes the universe is giving you much better energy, which you can apply the old things modified in the new ones and expand and expand and expand but resisting this move may not send you where you are so sometimes this could be a blessing in disguise giving you this opportunity you in the moment by resisting it that's why I will say, get it out of us. Page of Wands, Eight of Cups, Queen of Wands, and again, this Knight of Wands. There's a lot of messages will come in. So be alert, loves. What I want to say through all these loves is always, always look at yourself and believe in yourself. Because you know where you are, who you are, and you don't need any approval from anything. And yes, you don't need to try so hard what you need to do is to be you all right because in you 
the peace is there. Work it through loves. Because I feel here the results are coming and they could be quite big. Also, for others of you, if you plan something to do, don't wait for the right time. Just start. Okay? Because changes are coming. For some of you, if you've been here in that notion that I gotta do it, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, just doing it. Make that decision and roll it on. Life changing energies. And for some of you, whatever you're going right now, it's something you've been done in another past life. And this is a karmic energy you're going through. Could be work, could be around relationships, could be around certain things in your life. You are going the direction you need to. All right, loves. All right. I thank you so much for all of you coming in. And I hope this resonates for some of you. And we'll see you next time. Namaste.